five ways to have a powerful conversation with the universe so you can attract what you want. Hello my friend, my name is Gavin Stevenson from wakeupfulfilled.com and I help people create a business and life that's meaningful. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you five different ways that you can have a conversation with the universe so you can manifest what you want. And you are doing these automatically right now. So it's important that you change the communication that you're having with the universe so you can tune more into the frequency of what you are wanting. So the first one here is your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is right now communicating with the rest of your body. It's controlling so many different activities in your body right now. It's helping your heartbeat, it's helping your cells communicate to each other, it's helping your nervous system, etc, etc. And we need to realize that this part of our brain has our dominant thoughts. And it's our dominant thoughts that construct our reality. Our values, our subconscious beliefs, our ideas, you know, the things that we really want, the things that we don't want, are all in there. So what we have to do to improve our communication with the universe is we have to work on our subconscious mind. We have to remove the limiting beliefs, the subconscious blocks that's holding us back from seeing the success that we want. And we can use things like NLP, hypnosis, we can use things like EFT, emotional freedom technique, to go and reprogram our subconscious mind so that it's more in alignment with what we are wanting. You want to vibrate and communicate on a frequency that's not reactive, but it's more of responsibility, where you're responding to the universe, where you're communicating in a, an effective way. You know, in your life, you know, you might have arguments, right? Does that seem helpful to you? You know, you want this thing, right? You want it to be better, but you're having an argument in trying to solve it. That doesn't really work. Communication is key. So you want to communicate to the universe in a way where that it's effective and you are more in vibrational harmony with what you are wanting. You know, so many people have doubts and anxieties and fears about success. And this is the wrong vibration here. We wanna step into the vibration of your personal power and knowing that you have it already and creating belief systems around what you are wanting so you can create the reality that you want. Number two here is your emotion. How you feel your emotion and what you are expressing most dominantly. So again, number one, is you're attracting your most dominant thoughts, but you're also attracting your most dominant emotions. So it's important to work on your energy levels. Number one, increase your energy levels. Focus on having a high vibration, a high level of energy. When you've got vitality and energy, you feel happier naturally. So that's why it's important to eat healthy. Eat foods that are in alignment and synergistic with your body. Okay, I want to repeat that again, okay? Don't just go on any diet, okay? You want to find out exactly what foods work for you. Everyone is different. And that's why the diet industry is so big. There's always a new diet coming out, a new way of eating, etc., etc. But the reality is you need to find the foods that work for you, that make you feel amazing, okay? Now, obviously, there's diets that make you feel absolutely amazing, and you can find those out as well. However, sometimes eating healthy, so for example, for me, I know that I'm allergic to kale. I'm allergic to kale, how crazy is that? Um, I can't eat dairy, right? I'm gluten intolerant. Not only that, I'm allergic to things like aloe vera. So there's certain supplements with aloe vera and so I can't eat those supplements. You wanna know what makes your body feel weak, but you also wanna know what strengthens your body that gives you energy and vitality. So that's health. But we also got things like our environment, okay? What we're surrounded by. What you surround yourself with, you become. So it's important to construct a manufacture, a reality that corresponds with how you want to feel. You know, if you're surrounded by an energy or people or, you know, a, a home where you don't like it, you know, you want to change it, change it. Make yourself feel good as often as possible. What also affects your emotions is your thinking, okay, where your focus is, okay, you want to focus on the positive. Now, there's going to be negative situations in your life and you can't help but have those negative situations. However, you can look at negative situations in a positive light. So it's important to go and direct your mind and focus on what you want and don't focus on what you don't want, okay? So you want to focus more on what you want and how you want to see things, the perspectives you want to have on it. And through that, you step into your power and you're able to better have the emotions that communicate with the universe that is way more powerful. Next is our chakra system. 
we have seven chakras. With the crown chakra, we got the third eye, we got the throat chakra, we got the heart chakra, we got the solar plex, which is around the stomach, then we got the sacral chakra, and then we got the root chakra. And they all mean different things. This is more of an energy thing, and you can get these energy clearings, you can do EFT on your chakras as well. You know, there's so many different ways to go and heal your chakras. In fact, there's YouTube videos online where you can listen to binaural beats and isochronic tones which help heal your chakras and clear out the old stuff which basically stops you from communicating to the universe in an attractive communicative positive way the fourth one here is taking action you got to communicate to the universe that you're taking action you got to show the universe you know you actually want this okay it's not just given to you you have to go and step into the vibration of having it, you know, feeling it, stuff like that. But you have to take physical action, take the steps, make the calls, meet the people, get the courses, get the coaches, take the steps in order to achieve your goals, make the YouTube videos, build the social media, build the business, whatever it is, take the steps to actually making that happen. You know, even to win the lottery, you have to play, right? You have to take action. So it's important to take massive action towards your goals and what you want to achieve. The last and final one here is not needing. When you're needy, you repel. When you need something, you're saying, I want. You're saying, I don't have. So it's important to realize if you want to achieve your goals, if you want to communicate to the universe in a really powerful way, you have to feel like you already have it. It's not something that you're going after. It's something that you already have within you. It's already in you. It's in you first. And you create that absolute certainty that you have it right now. And you're literally just taking the steps to bring it into physical manifestation. You have it in here first. You know in here first. And through knowing in here first, that's it. It's done. You're in communication with the universe in the right frequency, in the right, right vibration. You're communicating in the right way. Then what you want to do is just take the steps to bring in it into physical manifestation. Because now what's going to happen is when you step into that certainty, when you step into that power, when you make those calls now, right? When you take that those action steps now, right? You go make the YouTube videos, you go, you know, build the business, you go, you know, send the letter, you know, you go do whatever you need to do. Now you're doing it with way more certainty, way more energy, way more conviction. And through that, you're going to be able to become more attractive. And through becoming more attractive, you're going to influence other people and you're going to influence the universe to bend to your order. Okay, it's going to go and you know reorganize itself, as Will Smith says, to what you are wanting. So those are the five ways to communicate with the universe much more powerfully. Number one is your automatic thinking, aka your subconscious mind. Number two is your emotions. You gotta develop the emotions that manufacture the success that you want, the certainty, the conviction, the happiness, the joy. You wanna step into these emotions much more by increasing your energy levels, changing your surroundings, and stuff of this nature. Number three, getting your chakras cleared. You can listen to YouTube videos here on YouTube, basically listen to binaural beats and isochronic tones you can play them all day you know whilst you're you know around your home and it will cleanse the energy of your chakra system helping you manifest more of what you're wanting number four here is taking massive action taking action towards your goals taking the steps that you need to take in order to create a life that you want the last one here is not needing when you need something and you're needy you're repelling when you need something and you want something bad it usually runs away from you you know, when a guy chases a woman too hard, she tends to run away. She tends to walk away. Naturally, women prefer men who step into their power, who have a purpose, who have a mission in their lives. And this applies to the universe too. You want to go ahead and step into your power and know that you are worthy and deserving of what you are wanting and you already have it. And through that, you're on purpose. You're communicating well with the universe. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.